Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful humans. We have got a two pound vintage and modern fashion jewelry lot. And it is a tiny little thing and I kind of forgot I had it. So we're just gonna check out and see what is in here that we can flip for a profit. And you're gonna let me know down below if you think this was something worth buying or if I should have passed. It's pass or profit in a different position. Ooh. Okay, I was gonna dump that out, but I got distracted by these. I don't know what these are. So, I mean, I know they're earrings, hello. Looks like we are missing one set, but they are Ashley Cooper, and they have these cute little blue, black, and green faux gemstones, and they were originally $10, ooh. So those are super cute. Those are gonna go into a, they look fancier than they are, but those are going to go into a jewelry on card lot. I have one that I'm building up that's not brilliant, amazing jewelry, but it's still really nice. So I'm going to put that into a lot. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? This looks potentially handmade. It has a feather, uh, some, unfortunately those beads are chipping. So the finish is coming off. They're just plastic. And I don't think this is silver or anything like that, but let's just double check. No. So that's just gonna go into a craft lot because there is, I don't know if you can see it, some chipping on these beads. So that was cute, but it is, oh, where did my craft lot go? I moved it, uh-oh, I need, uh-oh, this is trouble. All right, I'll use that box for craft. There we go. And this is going to go into the, oh, these are Chico's. Hmm, maybe those won't go. I will take a look, people do like Chico's. And of course, I don't know if those are actually Chico's, there is some discoloration on the card, and so those are actually on the, not on the card, but on the earrings. So those are just probably going to go into craft. I don't even think, because I can't tell for sure if they're really new. No, those have been worn, or they're just tarnished. But yeah, those are gonna go into a craft lot. They're really cute, but they're not in new enough condition to make them go into something else. Oh, let's see, is that? Oh, what is that one? That is not Banana Republic. I've seen that one, now I don't remember what it is. Good stretch, fun bracelet, looks good on. Again, my wrist is like a seven and a half, eight, I think. I need to measure again, because now I forget. But that's really cute, silver tone. Someone would buy that. Hmm, which box are you going into now? You'll go over there. You should see all the boxes I have of jewelry. And it was so odd because I was trying to find someone black and red craft jewelry and I could not find enough cool pieces. I found a lot of beads, but not enough like funky pieces for an art piece. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's like a vintage want to be. It has a lobster claw clasp. So it might be, you know, 90s, but it's not really vintage, vintage. But these really cute ombre turquoise stones. I mean, not really stones. They're plastic, I'm sure. Yes. Um... That's in pretty gosh darn good condition. I think someone would like that statement piece. Very sweet. All right. What else do we have in here? Oh, I can't pull you out. I don't want to scratch you. Let's look at this. We've got a little pink or salmon tone little clamper. This is a small baby. No marks. I like the kind of, not really chevron, but yeah. Oh, that's tiny. Ow, it pinched me. So I can get it on, but it's not going to... Like, it's just not the right, I guess it kind of fits, but that's cute. I have some of these. I don't know if they sell or not, but it's in very good shape. So I will give it a shot. Let's see what else we have in this here bag of genuine cloisonne made in Taiwan. Oh, vintage. Are you really genuine cloisonne made in Taiwan? Um, those are fun. Very 80s. They're clip-on. They do need a clean. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're branded at all. No, but those are cute. I might like to wear those at some point. They are a little scratched up here just from being wherever and right there. It just could be a thin spot in the enamel. Anyway, that's very cute. I would sell those, maybe. I don't know, I don't know about clip-on earrings. I'm still deciding. I have so many of them. Oof, 
All right, here we've got some medallions, Boho medallions that need fixed. Oh, and they can't be fixed because this one is broken. So the place where that should clip on right there, where I can use that little jump ring is gone. This is navy and not a brand. And that will just go into a craft lot since it's broken. I mean, I don't know why I spend so much time on it because it's broken. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's broken, broken, broken. Okay. We have just a little memory wire bracelet with a tiny little key over here and a little, ooh, what's the lock say? Oh, there's words on that that I can't read. Keep collective. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. I was so tiny I couldn't read. So that's keep collective. There is this little tiny cross. There's a cute little key and it says keep collective here. So I will have to look that up. Otherwise memory wire stuff. I'm not like so excited to list, but if it's a brand that someone might like, that's a sweet little cross. Um, yeah, it's not sterling or anything, but I will look that up before I decide. Otherwise it will probably end up in a craft lot just because not that many people are thrilled by that. Uh, the memory wire things. Ew, Deb, $9.99, that's expensive. I thought Deb was cheaper. I never shopped there. But these will just go in a new on card little lot. They have little sparkles that almost look like they have a green tone, but I think it's just bad glue. Is bad glue is what that is, but someone might wanna wear them. And if not, <laughs> Oh, well, oh, these are fun. Those are super fun. So it looks like it, they want to be, oh, those might be glass. Not plastic, I think. So it looks like they're trying to imitate topazes. Oh, is that one cracked? Hold on. No, it's not. All right, and it's, so it's collections. That's a very pretty. Someone might want those. Eh, maybe. Ooh, what is it? What? Ooh, there's something on the floor. I should look at it. It's jewelry. All right. Those someone might want. Let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, this is new with tags, but I don't think it's that exciting. Nicole contains small parts in ooh, 2015. Uh, silver and these really pretty red faceted beads. I mean, that's a fun color pop fits well actually feels nice nice and roomy um that's kind of cute i will look up nicole and see if it's anything worth selling on its own otherwise it will go into a new lot Ooh, that's pretty looks like magnet clasp maybe i can never why it looks like it should be a magnet clasp but i don't know if it is are those pearl those are pearls those are pretty hefty pearls Cultured, of course, because most pearls are, uh, and they are natural. They're just cultured. So uh, that looks like it should open, but doesn't. This is very pretty. I'm going to have to see if I, like it has kind of a Brighton vibe, but Brighton tends to mark things. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, it's just a, I was like, is there a, a word there? There's not. It's just the crease. So like there's this little jaggedy thing. It looks like it should Anyway, that's cute. Someone might buy it. Maybe, baby. Okay, uh, what do we got here? We've got a magnetic bracelet in Weiger. Oh, and unfortunately it is missing some pretty big rhinestone plastic thingamabob or whatchamacallit, doohickeys. So that's gonna go into a craft lot. And ooh, that's pretty. That is a dainty little silver tone. Ooh, that part is kind of bent funny. Oh, you're coming out. That's the problem. Hold on. Can I get you back in there? No, not there, but maybe. There we go. I will have to squeeze that a bit. This is really dainty and pretty. Look at that. So cute. And don't even look at my skin. Seriously. We've been doing all the end of the year activities. And so I've been outside a ton and sunblock dries my skin out. Oh, this has some pretty serious fading to it. So unfortunately that's gonna go into a craft lot. So it's really cute though. 
Can I get you out yet? I really want to see you. Come to me. Look, these are pretty. They look... I'm so perplexed. Oh, sorry. I'm like blocking their glass. That's a big old glass mamma jamma. So these look like someone's intentionally done that with finish in dye. You can do that with salt if you're dyeing something. I don't know how you do that with glass. And then there's hematite up here and a barrel clasp. That's pretty. Very nice. Someone should like that, I would think. Oh, look! We have another pair of those. Hold on. I said, oh, look, and it's not out of the box. Anyway, look, it's the, the blue and the green, and now we have the pink colored way. So I might put those together as a little lot. Someone might want them for all the colors of their outfits. Super cute. This is the other part of a card, but no one. Yeah, those are. Yeah, I think those are plastic, not glass, but they're very pretty. All right. I thought this was gonna be e faster, but it's not, cause there's tangles. Good thing there's, y'all should see how long it takes me to go through like a 30 pound box. Ugh, oh my gosh. Ooh. All right, we got a J. Crew bracelet, that's fun. Okay, that should perhaps pay for this whole thing. It is small. So I will not, I mean, I could clasp that if I squeezed, but that would like cut off all circulation to my hand. So this is probably more for like a seven inch wrist. I will measure, of course, and give all the measurements before. If you see anything you like at any point, uh, send me an email with the timestamp and the date of the video or the title of the video. Cause someone sent me a note saying that they saw a Prada purse in one of my thread up unboxings. I'm like, I don't remember having a Prada purse. And I went back to the video they said, and I looked through the whole video. I'm like, there's no Prada in that video. Can you tell me what, and they never responded. So I'm like, okay, sorry. I mean, I didn't say it like that, but I was like, uh, I didn't find a Prada. Did you, can you tell me exactly or send me a screenshot of the, the purse you're talking about? So I was like, all right, I would have sold it to you if I had a Prada, but I didn't have a Prada. Sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to distract you by the fact that this is taking so long to untangle. Oh my gosh. And there is a hang tag here. Oh, that's because it's too... All right, it's double. So let's just look at the hang tag and see what this is. Oh, I have no, no, oh, VS. Is that Victoria's Secret? Is there another VS? So these are just two little rhinestone. I'm not gonna keep untangling them because they're not that exciting, but probably sellable. And last, nope, there's not it. So just two little layered V necklaces. Cute, gold tone. Someone will like them. Oh, what is this? You are kind of weird. I can't get you out yet. All right, this is going to go into craft lot. It's just got some schmutz. And I have too many of this kind of necklaces that I've already taken pictures of. I don't really want to take pictures of any more until some of them sell. And I have a feeling they may never sell. So <laughs> I'm not going to take any more pictures of them. Uh, unless there's a really cool, unique one. This is very cool. So these are funky kind of abstracty medallions, gold tone. There is some fading to the clasp and the extender. Not too bad. I like those. Those I would, I would take some pictures of. It's like, do I really want to spend time with this piece or not? This piece is pretty. So I love these little like plastic flower necklaces. I don't know, call me crazy. These are just a lovely cream with a white center just to be difficult. And these are gold tone, but the chain looks more silver tone. And so maybe the chain is way too faded. I'll have to look at that in better light and see, because right now I'm like, me, I'm not sure about that. It might go into a craft or I might just have to disclose, but I can't tell in this light. Can you tell? I can't tell. It's still light out and usually I film it at dark so I have better lighting at the table, but I just wanted to come say hello. I should be taking some photos, but I'm taking a little break and doing this kind of work instead. Plus I needed to open this box, I mean this bag. All right, let's just get everything out here on the table. There's not much left. 
Oops, I almost lost that earring. Oh, look, there's another one of those earring sets. Okay, apparently someone got rid of all their earrings. Ooh, these are different. Those are fun. I don't know where these are from. So it's collection something. Oh, look, they were on clearance for $4. I wonder how much they were really. Anyway, those are cute. I might do a whole lot of the three. I don't know, the two pinks together might be a bit much, but they're different. Anyway, I would wear those. They're fun. So if no one wants to buy them, I would wear them. That's okay. All right, and do, 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 Oh, I was feeling so bummed today because it's like yard sale season, but I have too much stuff to list to really go to yard sales. Even though I may have gone to the thrift store, I'll probably do a haul about that, but <laughs> I'm like, I need to get all my stuff photographed so I can go to yard sales because I'm missing all the good stuff. That's all right. Ooh. That's kind of pretty. Feels like glass, maybe. It is marked Sun BR. Sun BR. So I'll have to look that up. I don't know if you can see that right there. And it's just really cute. Silver tone and pink heart. And it says Sun BR also on the clasp. And it doesn't say any metal content so it's probably not sterling or anything but let's just double check um the clasp is magnetic because of the spring the rest of it isn't so i'm probably going to put that in actually check it out pile so i can do a little research on the sun br brand since i do not know that brand have not heard of that what is this what is what what have we got here we have some earrings faux pearl Classic. A little loss of color on the hooks. Or is that just how they're made? That's interesting. Anyway, those are fine. I will probably put them in a lot. Maybe a wearable jewelry lot, but not new on card lot. I have a lot of lots going here, people. There's a lot of lots. What the heck fire is going on here? Okay, hold on. Whoa, what? Why? Why is this a thing? Who did this? Oh, that looks like, what's her name? Uh, Vera Wang. So, but it's simply Vera is this tag, I think. That's what was confusing me last time I saw this. I filmed it in a video. I was like, I know that it's Vera, but I couldn't think of why there's the S. But it's simply Vera is what it is, I believe. So if I'm wrong, I will figure that out. But does anyone really want to wear this? It's kind of cool, but this is super short. So you're going to be choking your little self. I mean, literally, that's a choker. Are those baguette style? With big old baguettes. Not bread. Jewels. All right. I will put this in my... I may take a photo of it a lot, but I don't think Simply Vera... That's nah, just going to go into craft. Eh. I don't think Simply Vera sells that well anyway, so... Ooh, glass. Let's see. Bauble bracelet. Number 306, $4. So that's probably... That's pretty, though. Those are really pretty glass pieces. There's some discoloration on the silver pieces. They could polish up. I don't know. I might list that. I might not. I No one has bought a bracelet except Miss Mary. Mary, thank you for buying a bracelet. I appreciate that. I have a couple more you might like. Uh, <laughs> I haven't listed them yet, of course, because that would have been helpful. Let's see. This is just a really cool chain and bugle bead bracelet, but the tone on the clasp is wearing off. And it's not marked. It's dirty. Let's see. And it is magnetic. So that's just going to go into craft. Even though it's really cute. It might go into wearable, like imperfect wearables. Because I would still wear something like that. I don't know if I would ever wear something like this. This, however, is by Sugar Fix. And I will have to look that up because I've heard about it in boxes. But I've never paid attention because I don't care. I don't know that I care about this either. It's kind of funky. It's kind of interesting, but it's also kind of hideous because who, I don't know, the 
I love this kind of like brutalist kind of style down here. I don't, it's not really brutalist, but you know, a little more hardcore. And then we got this silk cord with the chartreuse or lime bright neon green. I don't get, it just seems very, and it's probably supposed to be incongruous. So, but it's nice. I will look it up and before I decide anything. Oh, what have we got here? Ooh, we've got a wolf howling at the moon. Oh, come here. You're kind of cool. That's interesting. That's a very cool piece. It's probably just junk. Just looking at it. Um, nothing exciting. It's not marked as far as I know. But I think someone would like that piece. That's a cool piece. And that is just plastic. I don't think that's actually quartz or anything. That probably glows. Just looking at it. I wish I had my black light. I think that bead glows is my guess. It's kind of cold. Is that moonstone? No, it's not. I don't think so. All right. Our last piece in the little bag of goodness is from Loft. And this is pretty worn, but these are kind of cool. They look, these look like they're supposed to be moonstones. They aren't. They're not cold. This might be too discolored, but it also might be like coolly discolored. Oh, this one's a little out of shape. I'm going to just push that back in. Push that back in. There we go. So this is kind of cool. Let me know what you think of this one. Would you just disclose like there's some wear discoloration, but it's still very cool. I like those. Those look pretty, even though they're not real. I mean, they're real something, just not real stone.